So when we have our PVT data uh, for a given well and initialized, we can go to our production data and just make a few observations uh, here. The first thing that we can see is that for this well, we actually have a, some measured gauge pressures versus uh, time, but we also see that we have gas lift rates and we also have tubing and casing rates, no, and casing pressures, sorry. Uh, so this means that we can also calculate our bottom of pressures, which is what we're gonna do in the next uh, exercise, okay? Um, and what's important for the bottom of pressure uh, calculation is that we have the uh, relevant uh, pressures, so either tubing, casing, or both, and also gas lift rates or liquid levels if we're dealing with rod pumps. But then in addition, we need to set a BHP calculation flow path. So if you're flowing through tubing, you need to provide the tubing as the flow path. And if you double click here, you can change that to other types of flow paths. So let's say it was casing that we were flowing through, or if we have a tubing installed and we flow through the analyst, this is the option that we would use. Or if we have co-flow through tubing and analyst, this is what we would use. Okay, so you, you understand the, the point. But uh, it's very important that you go in and just, uh, at least if you want to calculate bottom hole pressures, that you do that uh, in um, uh, uh, in a correct manner when it comes to the flow path schedule and that that schedule changes when you're changing your tubing and, and casing uh, configurations, etc. Okay, so once we have PVT and bottom hole uh, and uh, production data, we're actually ready to calculate our bottom hole pressures. Uh, before we do that, uh, we can take it and run some simple uh, decline curve uh, analysis. Uh, so that's what we can do with our production data. And I'll not go into this feature in detail here, but if you click out of it, there is a fitting algorithm already in the uh, tool that out of it's uh, the uh, uh, observed production data that you can see here on different uh, plots. Uh, and you can, of course, modify the ranges of the fit uh, or or lock in different parameters, whether that's the start date or the B fractor, etc., and rerun uh, the case.